In this video, we are going to answer how old is too old to become a helicopter pilot? That's like autopilot, dude. How do you fly a helicopter? Well, I'm going to show you. Now to answer this, there are a couple of different routes you have to answer and there's a couple different things you have to talk about. But if I had to say a top line number of how old is too old to become a helicopter pilot, I would say probably about 80 years old. So I've personally been the flight instructor of two older gentlemen. One was 69, I think one was 70. Both of them were successful and they got their private helicopter pilots ratings. There was really no trouble at that age. However, the difficulties I saw were the skills I mean, it's hard for anyone to learn a helicopter, but they were maybe a little bit slower on that. But the biggest problem came to radios, communications, GPSs, navigational systems with inside the aircraft. They were able to pick up all the concepts. I, I really don't think it would be too much of a problem if you were approaching 70, 75, but after 80, I could imagine it might be a problem. And as you're talking about this, it is a fair point to bring up the health concerns that go along as you age. As everyone ages, their bodies change and and things can happen. I imagine that as you are flying, there's a higher risk of potentially a heart attack or stroke just in general from being at an older age. However, that's, I mean, that's a problem while you're flying any aircraft. But due to the nature that the helicopter is so stressful, there's so many high pressure, high stakes events that you're doing, even on just like training maneuvers, like auto rotation, slope landings, there's a lot of high stress, high pressure things. And so those are things you're just gonna have to think about as the age increases. Now let's bring it back from 80 and let's say that you want to make a career shift you're 30 you're 40 or 50 you're 60 can you make a career shift from knowing nothing about aviation into helicopters flying doing something cool like helicopter ems search and rescue offshore flying for news tours can you make that shift later in life 100 1000 1 million percent yes i emphatically tell you yes you can make the career shift 100 without a problem you can do it i get the general question a lot it's like hey devin i am this age i want to make a career shift is that something i can do is that a smart move is what about the finances of it what do you think can it be done absolutely is there any problem doing it no, not necessarily. There are challenges that are gonna come along with it. So for anyone that wants to be a helicopter pilot, the typical uh, progression is that you get your private, you get your commercial, you get your instrument, and then maybe you can get picked up at about 200 flight hours going and doing a commercial job, flying tours, maybe flying pipelines, but that's pretty rare. You typically need 500 or 1,000 hours to open up the doors to the bigger jobs. So how do you go from graduating flight school at 200 flight hours to 500 or 1,000 hours? Hours. typical way to do it is becoming a helicopter flight instructor or just a CFI a flight instructor you spend about 800 hours flight instructing teaching people and then you've got a thousand hours of total time and then the doors have opened a lot for tours for more turbine building opportunities and then once you get about 2,000 or 2,500 hours you can go and really do what you want helicopter EMS search and rescue whatever floats your boat all of that to say that's the typical progression and if you are doing this as a career shift so if you're doing this in your 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s. At any point, that progression is gonna take anywhere from starting flight school to having 1,500 to 2,000 hours is any is gonna be anywhere from like three to five years if you do it like full-time and you're actively pursuing it. You can do it in three years, um, two to three years, maybe you could get 1,000 hours if you're really pushing it, but anywhere from three to five years is appropriate. So similar to like a college degree, like going into school, getting your experience, and then going into the job market. It's like a four-year degree. If you're making that career shift, you have to plan that those four years, you're probably not going to be making a ton of money if you're going full throttle into it. If you're spending all of your time, your mental power, you're not working a different job, it's gonna be about three to four years to get all that time. And your finances are probably not, you're not gonna have a ton of income. During flight school, you're just gonna be spending money. Thousands, tens of thousands, maybe a hundred thousand dollars to get all your ratings, to get all this experience. And that's in flight school, so that maybe that's a year and a half or two years. And then you're gonna be a flight instructor, you're gonna be making anywhere from like 18 to like, $30 an hour. It's not super stable, but it, it's good money and you don't really care about the money at that point. You're just trying to build the time, build the experience. After you get a thousand to fifteen hundred hours and the doors have opened, you're starting to make more money. You're in the like seventy to a hundred thousand dollar range. And then after you've got like twenty five hundred hours, you should be making more than a hundred thousand dollars a year. Another aspect of making a career shift or being too old besides the financial stuff. So in the airlines like Delta, American, Frontier, Southwest, all the, the big air 
Eric cares. Seniority is like the most important thing. When you get in, you start at the bottom of the totem pole and then you climb to the top over lots of years, decades even. And then once you're at the top, you're in a really good position. That's really how it works. It's really a totem pole. They don't care what age you are. You could go to the airlines at 50 and it wouldn't matter versus a 20 year old guy or a 25 year old guy that has been there five years more than you. He's going to be higher than you. So it really matters in the airlines and helicopters that doesn't exist at all. That's not how the market works. That's not how uh, the jobs pay. It, it, that doesn't matter. So that's a really good thing if you're looking at it from a career shift perspective. So to wrap it up, it's always a good time to start to learn to be a helicopter pilot. If you want to do it commercially, the earlier you do it, the better. I mean, that goes with goes without saying. So if you're thinking about doing it, go do it. If you want to just do it for yourself and you want to be like a private pilot and you just want to learn how to fly helicopters, there's really not a bad time to do it. There's really not an age that's too old. So go do that then. But if I had to put a cap on the number, I would say about 80 years old, there starts to be a lot of factors that make it difficult. So I would consider talking to a flight instructor before you invest and maybe reevaluate. But if you're 80 and you wanna learn how to fly helicopters, come talk to me because that's pretty freaking cool. All right, if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. Go check me out on Patreon and uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.